I was talking about like data privacy and security earlier, um, the example I was going to throw out is like China's social credit system. Where yeah. the oh, that is so weird to me. Right? You know, yeah. they've got this, the most sophisticated, like practically universal surveillance, you know, system yeah. um, with, you know, uh, accurate enough like facial recognition and all of these other kinds of like biometrics where they know everything about every person. Um, and this, the, perhaps the scariest part is that a lot of Chinese citizens are actually in favor of it um, oh, because they've seen that the deployment of the social credit system has reduced crime, has um, improved uh, congestion, has uh, resulted in more donations to well, So I, I said this in our last episode, like define crime. And, and I know you did, but I'm just saying this <laughs> again for the sake of reiterating the argument. It depends on the locality, which with that crime yeah. is being enforced. And that is highly <laughs> subjective in my opinion, which I'm saying now. Mm -hmm. And so that's interesting. I, I think um, within China, um, it's, it's not so subjective or at, at least, you know, there is was well, it political very, crime? Is it? No, it's it's mostly um, kind of like petty, like uh, robbing people. every day. Okay, um, things like that. Though, like you've got people reporting right. each other in the social credit system when they see somebody litter, or when they see somebody like you know deface like property, or um, you know, it used to be that people would like piss on the streets and, and stuff. But now like yeah. uh, people are reporting each other for public indecency.